Today is December the 4th, Tuesday uh, is my fifth uh, video log from Doha. And the high level segment now has started. We had important speeches by the Secretary General of the UN, Ban Ki moon, and the Emir of Qatar, uh, trying to drive ambition into the negotiation process. The ministers have now taken over the negotiations, uh, <coughs> even though they weren't completed. For example, the lost and damage, loss and damage text last night. Negotiators went through the night into the morning and still were not able to resolve it. So it's gone to the ministers to be resolved. Hopefully the ministers will be able to do that. So the three major issues are the second commitment period of the Kyoto Protocol, financing between 2013 and 2020, and the loss and damage tax, so whether or not we continue with the loss and damage work program. On financing, there's been some movement. Some of the ministers from the developed countries have been announcing some funds. The British Minister, Mr. Ed Davey, announced <coughs> some additional funds from the UK after 2012, although there is still a bit of confusion as to whether this was genuinely new and additional to what they had already announced before. There is a habit of repeatedly announcing the same amount of money uh, by some countries. Uh, but hopefully this is new money, and we hope that other countries will put money on the table as well. Developing countries are asking for doubling of the $30 billion that was given over the last three years into the next three years, so $60 billion over the next three years to 2015. <clears throat> we'll see how much the pledges add up to. Uh, the final issue that is still sticking is the loss and damage tax, where some countries want it to be removed. In some countries, particularly EOSIS, want it to stay uh, with an international mechanism for loss and damage built into the Doha decision. Uh, again, this remains for ministers to resolve, and hopefully over the next few days they'll do that.